All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the Duck Station emulator on a Nintendo Switch. What this is going to allow you to do is to play the PlayStation 1 games. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. So for the first link, it's going to be for my page. So just scroll down the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be one link for the Duck Station download page. Now you're going to need to create a games folder. Uh, with games in .bin, .q game format. You're going to need to create a BIOS folder with the PS1 BIOS. Now I cannot provide any of these for you, so you're going to have to obtain them on your own. So now for the DuckStation download site, you're going to scroll down the page until you find the assets section. You are going to download the DuckStation underscore switch underscore pre-release 2.7 Z file. Now this is going to be a zip folder. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. So now this is going to be the uh, emulator folder. So you're going to have a switch folder. You're going to have a duck station folder. This is going to have the duckstation.nro file. Now you're going to take your BIOS file. You're going to copy it into this folder. And you're going to take your PS1 ISOs folder and you're going to also copy it into this folder just like that. So that's basically it. Now you're going to take your Switch folder and then copy it onto the root of your Nintendo Switch's SD card. So now we're going to get over on the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of the emulator, uh, the best settings, and a little bit of gameplay. All right, guys, now over on the switch. Now we are going to check if we have the NRO. So we'll open up the album. You're going to scroll over until you find Duck Station. So it looks like we have the NRO installed. Now you're going to go to the home button. Uh, we are going to run this in the full RAM mode. So to do that, you are going to hold the R button while loading a game or an application. Just like that. So now we are in uh, full RAM mode. Now we are going to load up Duck Station. You're going to press A to load it. So we are going to change a few settings. So go over to settings. Uh, so for the first page, on the interface page, you're going to go over to start and full screen. So scroll down. Uh, make sure this is selected. Uh, now we're going to go over to console settings. Uh, make sure you change your region. So for me, it's uh, NTSC. So US slash Canada. So North America. You're going to go over again to emulation. Now under emulation... Uh, emulation speed, uh, make sure it's 100%, 60 FPS, NTSC, and then PAL is 50 FPS. Um, now you're going to go over to the BIOS. Now select the files for the BIOS for you to load. Now this is only going to be one file. So this is going to take you to where you have your files for your BIOS, and then select your folder, just like that. Uh, now we're going to go over one more to the graphics settings. Uh, under the GPU renderer, uh, make sure you select hardware slash deco 3D. And then as for aspect ratio, you're going to select 16 by 9. So just keep scrolling down. So there it is, aspect ratio. Uh, it's going to be 4x3, so you're going to need to change the 16x9 if you want to utilize the full screen. Uh, now under uh, controller, controller settings, um, if you guys want to map anything out in here, but everything should pretty much be set. Now under the hotkeys, um, the only thing I recommend is to change the open pause menu. 
Now, what this is going to allow you to do is to uh, pause the game. And then uh, it's going to give you a menu where you can uh, exit out of the game or save the game and stuff like that. So make sure you um, select the uh, hotkeys. Now you're going to go over to memory card. If you want to set up your memory card, you can do that. So now everything is set. We're going to go back. Uh, we are going to go to start a game. Uh, start file. You're going to find your ISOs folder. You're going to load the Q file. Uh, this is going to load the BIOS file first. So there you go. As you can see, it's full screen. Now the game I have is uh, Crash Racing. I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay. Now, if I find a compatibility list, um, I am going to put it in the uh, pin comment as well for you guys. So I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to back out by pressing the hotkeys. Uh, now you can save your game or you can go close game. Uh, exit without saving. And then to exit the emulator, you go to exit, press A. And then exit duck station. And then it takes you back to the main menu. So that is how you install uh, duck station on the... Nintendo Switch. I will leave all the links that you're going to need in the pin comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.